Hi, I'm Andrew McKean with Outdoor Life's Masterclass. Today, I want to talk to you about how to evaluate an optic by just using a flashlight. Most of us are picking out optics at a sporting goods counter under fluorescent lights in the middle of the day, the worst situation for trying to figure out how a hunting optic is going to perform when you need it most, the mornings and the evenings when most animals are active. But there's one quick way you can get a pretty good idea of the quality of an optic if you ask the sporting goods clerk for a simple flashlight. What you want to do with it is do two things. You want to check for coatings. An optics coatings, and that's the, the color that you can see on the outside of the lens. A lot of times it'll be green, sometimes blue, sometimes a little bit reddish. That coating minimizes glare and reflection for the incoming light. It makes uh, light transmission better, so it makes the optic brighter, and it cuts down on a lot of reflection uh, internally. So coatings are really important to the quality of an optic, but not all coatings are created the same. You know, most uh, binocular and rifle scope companies will say their optic is fully multi-coated. What does that really mean? You can tell with the flashlight. Almost every optic is going to have coatings on the outside lens, so the surface that's closest to you, whether it's the objective lens, the big side, or the ocular lens, that's the side that's uh, nearest to your eye. And you can confirm that by just looking at, with the flashlight and seeing color reflected back at you. What's really important, though, is how well coated the interior lenses are. A binocular will have, any, a binocular will have anywhere from 7 to 10 to even 13 lenses inside the instrument. There's an awful lot going in there. And if not every one of those lens surfaces is coated, you're going to get a lot of internal reflection. You're going to get um, white light that bounces around in there. And as a result, you're not going to have nearly the contrast or the um, sharpness when you look through the optic. So the way to tell that is, Shine your, your flashlight straight through from the objective lens side and just see what you see. A fully multi-coated multi optic should be full of color. The white light of your flashlight will be reflected back to you in greens and blues or reds, however the optic is coated. And this red field that I'm looking through right now appears to be fully multi-coated. I see an awful lot of green color in there. That's good. I'm going to look now through uh, a Zen Ray binocular and I see a whole different experience. I see a lot of white light reflected back at me. It's the same light that is in the flashlight itself reflecting back. That means there's an uncoated surface somewhere in this instrument. And if I look close enough, I can see it's the one, two, three. looks like the fourth lens element. There's something else you can do uh, with a flashlight at a sporting goods store, too. You can really look at how well an optic is made. When you look through the objective lens of a binocular or a rifle scope, you get to see an awful lot of um, detail. You get to see blacking. That is a way that optics companies make sure that there's no internal reflection by dampening down the tube, the inside of the tube. But you also see, on a poor, poorly made optic, a lot of dust, a lot of tool marks, and in some cases, even the grease that's used to seal the lens elements. So take a look at it. If you don't see any smudges or dust or tool marks, that's usually a pretty good sign that it's a pretty well-made optic um, and a well-made optic, typically, though not always, is going to be a clear, crisp, and bright optic. But boy, sometimes if you look through one, you're going to see layers of dust, and even I've even seen fingerprints from the, uh, the person who made the binocular in there. That's not what you want to see when you look through a binocular with either a flashlight or your eyes.